<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Sarah and I've got my helper Connie with me. Today we are going to make salt dough following the recipe that you all got in your family packs. If you're, be, a young carer. if you're a young carer. They've been delivered, some have been delivered yesterday and we are getting more out to those people who've requested them so just bear with us. Okay, so first things first what I've done is I've put the oven on its lowest heat and just getting that ready to warm up make sure you get grown up to do that for you so first thing's going to do is we are going to weigh out our flour we've got our lovely little cup measurements so we need one cup of plain flour now I do know that flour is quite hard to come by at the minute so what I'd suggest is if you have to make use less flour then just amend your measurements. So according to the recipe, it's half the amount of salt as it is flour. So we can just cut down the amount of salt and the amount of flour that we need use if we need to. So I'm just gonna get the rest of the flour up here. We haven't got we're using the dregs of our flour here as well now. We haven't got much left. So you made a mess So one cup, which is around 250 grams, if you're going to be measuring it. So we're going to tip that in our bowl. That's plain flour. Now if you do it like Connie's doing it from dead far away, you get all the dust. So don't do that. And then we need half a cup which is 125 grams of salt. Go on, keep going. Tip it the top, there you go. That's what I was doing. Oh, just gonna have enough. So we've got our half a cup, which is 125 grams of salt that's going to go in the bowl as well and then we're going to stir those two together and while Connie does that I'm going to get the water and again we need half a cup of water you pour the water in slowly yeah so what we're going to do is going to add the water in just a little bit at a time that up and give it some more and we're just going to keep adding our water which is a half a cup full again which is about 125 ml and we're just going to keep adding the water a little bit at a time and when it gets to a door you have to yeah, until it becomes a ball and a ball and it starts to stick together. So that's what our dough looks like now. What we need to do next is put a little bit of flour down onto the work surface and then we're going to tip it out and we're going to start to knead it. So we've got our dough and what we're going to do is going to give it a little knead. And then there's loads and loads of different things that you can do with salt dough. Uh, there's some examples on the sheet that you were given. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do the hand prints. I've um, seen quite a lot of these on Facebook and they're really popular at the moment. So we are going to put our hand prints in and then we're going to, once it's dry, we're going to paint it and mark it with the date and remember it as when we were in lockdown. And so we've got a nice memory of something that we did during lockdown. So Connie's got a lovely kneading technique that she's uh, learnt from her grandma who makes a lot of bread. So you can show us how you do it, Connie. What do you do? Uh, you get it in the rock and then you roll over and you it. So once you've got it all kneaded, we're going to flatten it out. Um, ideally, we would use a rolling pin, but we don't have one. We don't have one, which I don't know how we've gotten through life to this point without a rolling pin, but we don't have one. So if you've got something you could maybe use as a rolling pin, <laughs> that's fantastic. If not, just use your hands to flatten it down. So we've rolled our dough out, you need to make sure it's not too thick because it'll take a really, really, really long time to cook. Then you don't want it too thin either because it might snap and break. 
uh, our dough was really sticky and I didn't have enough flour to keep putting down so what we've done is we've put some grease proof paper down so that it doesn't stick and now we've rolled it out we're going to put our hand prints in. So we've now added our hand prints, uh, it's not the best dough we've ever made unfortunately, it's quite a bit sticky um, but unfortunately we've got no more flour left so we're going to have to just make do. I'm sure your guys will be much better than ours are. Um, now it needs to go in the oven. It takes quite a while, it can take three to four hours on a really, really, really low temperature. So get that popped in the bottom of your oven. Well, get a parent to put it in the bottom of your oven or a guardian and then check on it. Keep checking on it and once it's nice and dried out, then it's ready to come out of the oven. And then check back later and see how we decorate ours.